This simple and easy chickpea mutton curry recipe that is more than delicious made with simple spices and pantry ingredients. So the ingredients are chickpeas, green chili, coriander leaves, ginger garlic paste, onion, mutton keema, tomato and some basic spices that is turmeric powder, red chili powder, salt and sugar, some whole spices, green cardamom, cinnamon stick, bay leaves and red chili whole and our garam masala. So let's begin our recipe. To start with first, take the chickpeas which is soaked overnight, put it into a pressure cooker with 2 cups of water and wait for until it's done or give 4 to 5 whistles. On the other side, take a pan, add 3 to 4 tablespoons of mustard oil. Once the oil heat up properly, then into it add our whole spices. Now add green cardamom, cinnamon stick, bay leaf and red chili whole. Saute it, then into it add 2 to 3 medium onion chopped. Stir it in a medium high flame until the onion changes color and become translucent. This Indian curry is bound to become a family favorite. It's perfect the day of and even better as leftovers which makes it ideal for reheating for an easy lunch or dinner the next day. Now add 2 to 3 tomato chopped, 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, now again stir it well so it doesn't stick at the bottom of the pan in a medium high flame. After 5 to 8 minutes, into it add our basic masala, 2 teaspoons of Kashmiri red chili powder for the color, 2 teaspoons of turmeric powder, salt as per your taste and 1 teaspoon of sugar. Then into it add 350 grams of mutton keema. Now mix everything well so that the masalas get coated well with the mutton keema. After it's done with the mixing, then add 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder and reduce the heat to low. Cover with a lid and cook for 10 to 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. After that, when you see that the oil seeping through the masala, stir it again. Then into it, add our boiled chickpeas and stir well. Again mix it well so that the chickpeas will coat it with the masala. Now add 1 cup of water and close the lid, simmer the flame and cook for another 10 to 15 minutes or until it is done properly. Finally you can see everything is cooked perfectly. At this stage sprinkle some coriander leaf from above or you can add kasuri methi and 2 to 3 green chilies then put off the flame and cover it and give a standing time of 5 to 8 minutes before serving it serve it hot with a squeeze of lime and onion slices along with paratha or nut if you like this recipe do comment in my comment section below and subscribe my channel cooking story don't forget to hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new recipe, you get the notification first. Till then, enjoy cooking story. See you again with another interesting recipe. Bye-bye.